judgment, the Supreme Court has cracked the whip to clean up the world's most polluted city, the New Delhi's toxic air. A slew of measures, including a ban on new diesel SUVs and luxury cars and a 100% in green tax on trucks have been imposed. Here's the kicker. This ban is not just for the capital city of Delhi, neither is it only for the MNC capital of Gurgaon or the residential hub of Noida. It's being imposed on the entire national capital region. We're talking about an area encompassing 34,000 square kilometers, stretching from industrial areas like Panipat and Sonipat in Haryana to Meerut and Buldan Sher in Uttar Pradesh, as well as Alwar in Rajasthan. So it's a much bigger area than had been thought about earlier. Let's talk about the order itself. Ashmit Kumar, who is there at the Supreme Court, now joining us with the details. Ashmit, you know, we got a sense of this yesterday when the Supreme Court uh, talked about banning engines more than 2,000 cc. Uh, that has now been formalized in an order. Take us through all of the measures that the Supreme Court has decided on to clean the Delhi's toxic air. Right, so the apex court, not mincing word, coming out with a multi-pronged attack as far as the pollution menace is concerned. And there are essentially five takeaways from the order today that came out earlier. Uh, the first and perhaps the biggest takeaway is that the Supreme Court is insisting on a ban on registration of diesel cars in the national capital. The threshold, as we had reported yesterday, has been uh, set uh, for diesel cars with an engine capacity of higher than 2,000 cc. Now, what's important to point out is that this is effective immediately and this will go on. The ban on registration of diesel cars in excess of 2,000 cc will go on till 31st of uh, March 2016. That's the first takeaway. The second point is, uh, is that the Supreme Court has continued with its push uh, for cabs applying within the city limits and this also applies to aggregators such as Ola and Uber for these cabs to migrate from diesel to CNG and that is something that the Supreme Court is insisting on. The deadline again has been set at 31st of March 2016. Point number three is that the ECC, the environment compensation charge that had been levied in the month of October by the Apex Court itself has now been reformed, has now been doubled in fact, uh, with the Apex Court now looking to slap an ECC of 1,400 and 2,600 on trucks that are bound for Delhi that will be entering the city borders. And this is where things get interesting. The Apex Court has again reinforced its order as as a part, this is of course the fourth takeaway where the Apex Court is again insisting has directed that only and only trucks uh, meant uh, for carrying goods to Delhi that are bound for Delhi will be the ones that will be allowed within city premises, that other trucks will have to find alternate routes or uh, routes of transport, alternate routes of transit. And here's the fifth takeaway uh, that the Apex Court has clarified that trucks uh, registered prior to 2005 under no condition will be allowed to enter the city border. So again, drastic measures being employed here. We are yet to see the full impact of things. But for now, the Supreme Court, not mincing word, uh, putting out a five-point order to tackle the pollution menace. Back to you.